two letter PH, uh, two letter letters, one letter in our, two letters in our alphabet, one in theirs, a CH and a PS, PZ, key, and phi, and then an omega. It's easy to remember when you remember it that way. This is our basic alphabet from here to here, except no J and no Q. It's really easy to remember. Anybody can do that, can't you? All you have to do is, is remember what the M, it looks like an upside down H, the N looks like a V, the, the L looks like an upside down Y, the K looks like a K, the I looks like an I. It's not hard to remember. Now, let me give you this. You take any number to under 2,000, and if it's a division of 3, you take 1776. This is why 153 is such a miraculous number in mathematics. It's not just a miraculous number in the Bible. It's the picture of us. Isn't it? That's what it's a picture of. We're the fish, aren't we? Let me give you this. All right. 1776, you take 1 to the 3rd power plus 7 to the 3rd power plus 7 to the 3rd power plus 6 to the 3rd power. 6 times 6 times 6. That's what third power means. 7 times 7 times 7. 7 times 7 times 7. That's three times. That's to the third power. That's what that means. For those of you that didn't take much math. And then what you end up with is 903. You take 903 and you've got 9 to the third power plus 0 to the third power. Of course, that's 0. Plus 3 to the third power. And you end up with 756. And then you have 756, uh, 7 to the third power, plus 5 to the third power, plus 6 to the third power. And that gives you 684. And you take 684, 6 to the third power, plus 8 to the third power, plus 4 to the third power. And that gives you 792. And you take 792, 7 to the third power, plus 9 to the third power, plus 2 to the third power. And that gives you 1,080. And then you take 1,080. And how many times are we going to do this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to do it 7 times. 1,080 is 1 to the third power, plus 0 to the 3rd power plus 8 to the 3rd power plus 0 to the 3rd power. And that gives you 513. And you have 5 to the 3rd power plus 1 to the 3rd power plus 3 to the 3rd power. And that gives you 153. Whew. Now, do you think God just didn't have anything to do or he planned this whole thing out? We're still talking about heirs of the kingdom. If God picked out his heirs, and he has to pick out... If he has to pick out his heirs, he has to pick out where you go, what you do, where your job's going to be, uh, the mess you get in. He lets Satan loose on your life for certain sins. The wrath of man shall praise thee, and the remainder of wrath shall thou restraint. He has to orchestrate everything in your mind, your life, so you come across this person, so you have a baby by them and they grow up and they hear the truth or they grow up and they don't hear the truth and they die and go to hell. They're vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. He's got to ordain that too. God has to ordain people to hell as well as the heirs to the kingdom. You can't go to hell by your free will and you can't go to heaven by your free will. You have to go to heaven or hell by the will of God. See, if he did all of this, when you get into predestination, that's just the beginning. That is uh, kindergarten. When you get into gematria and you get out all of the numbers that God has ordained, I have sat up all night long doing numbers, just one right after the other, and coming across the most amazing things. I, I got to thinking one night, I was teaching on the sons of God in Genesis, the, the, the fifth chapter, and starting with Adam, and you go all the way down through Noah, and you go all the way down to his son Shem, you go all the way down to Abraham, then Isaac, and then Jacob, and Jacob's name is changed to Israel. Israel. And I got to thinking, this is the righteous lineage of God. 
And seven is the number of divine refinement. I wonder if that has anything to do with seven. I just took all these names in the Hebrew and added them up, and they add up to seven thousand exactly. I mean exactly. You it's all an accident? I really believe God is God. Yeah, Dwayne. Could you talk a little bit about 666? Well, I'm out of town. You really want me to get into 666? That's, see, 666 is gematria. That's what it is. When you've got numbers in Scripture, how much time do I have? Huh? Two minutes. Uh, don't want to get there, but... Well, six is the number of man, is what it is. Oh, yes, they, yes, this is an order in the universe. Thank you. This is an order. That's right. And all of this is the, it's the same wherever you go. And mathematics doesn't change. Mathematics is there because it's there. It's because God ordained it. Two plus two is four because God made it so. Gosh, I wish I had some more time. Huh? Except what? Except when you got free will? Except when it's 22. Yeah, except when it's 22. Yeah, 2 plus 2 is always 4 except when it's... Except when it's... Uh, hold on a second here. Gosh, and if you take... If you take one... Look here. If you take... This is just amazing. Why does it always end up 153? If you take... What they call... Factorial. Factorial 3. You take one, two, three, four, five. The fifth day the fish were created. On the fifth day. You take one, which is, they call this factorial. One, and then two is one times two. And then three is, they have one times two times three. And then four, one times two times three times four. You multiply each time. 1 times 1 is 1. And then you have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. And what you end up with is 1, 2, 6, 24, 120. Adds up to 153. That's called factorial 3 in mathematics. 153 is extremely significant number. It's the picture of us. I need to get me a t-shirt just says, we are the 153. <laughs> I bet that draws comments. Yeah, people going, what? So you got time? So we're still talking about the heirs of the kingdom. If God made us heirs, He not only made us heirs, but like, like He said a while ago, this is the very structure of the universe. Let's pray. Father, thank You for truth. What a magnificent God you are. You've, you've made yourself known to us, Lord, through your scriptures. We don't see how it can be any other way, Lord, and all we're doing is barely tapping the numbers in scripture. Thank you for being the God that you are. Make us realize who we talk to and who we're speaking to when we talk to you. We are nothing, Lord. If we are anything, it'll be spiritual. It won't be in this flesh, Lord. When men lift themselves up in the flesh, they are lifting up nothing. Cause us to continue this work, open up many doors for the ministry, and we'll give you praise for everything in Christ's name. Amen. amen. <clears throat>Pick, yeah, 1776, yeah. It's a number that's divisible by three, up to a 2,000. Yeah, it ought to make you humble, wouldn't it? Whew. What a God. I didn't catch what you called that, the 153. It was factorial what? Factorial three. three. Okay. <laughs> it was called a trinity function. Okay. That was factorial three over there. But uh, it's called a trinity function.
I'll, I'll, I'll get with you and talk to you about it, okay? Thank you, Thank you so much. Lots of stuff, isn't it? Yes, sir. Ooh. I haven't picked up the Bible in almost 40 years. Oh, they're lies. They're just lying. There's nothing to it. When you get into the sovereign will of God, it's like, whew, it's like overwhelming. It overwhelms me when I go back through this. It just astounds me. Even when I've done it before, when people...